Introduction to Mechanics and Design for Computer Scientists. We give an introduction to the microeconomic field of Mechanics and Design slightly biased toward a computer scientist's point of view. Introduction. Mechanics and Design is a subfield of、uh, economic theory that is rather unique within economics in having an engineering perspective. It is interested in、uh, designing economic mechanisms, just、uh, like computer scientists are interested in、uh, designing algorithms, particles, or systems. It is best to view the goals of the designed mechanisms in the very abstract terms of a social choice. A social choice is simply an aggregation of、uh, the preferences of the different participants. Toward a single joint decision, mechanism design attempts implementing desired social choices in a strategic setting, assuming that the different members of society each act rationally in a game theoretical sense. Such strategic design is necessary since usually the preferences of the participants are private. This high-level abstraction. Of aggregation of preferences may be seen as a common generalization of a multitude of scenarios in economics as well as in other social settings, such as political science. Here are some basic classic examples: elections. In politi- political elections, each voter has his own preferences between the different candidates. And、uh, the outcome of the elections is a single social choice. Markets, classic economic theory, usually assumes the existence and functioning of a perfect market. In reality, of course, we have only interactions between people, governed by some particles. Each participant in such an interaction has his own preferences. But the outcome is a single social choice: the reallocation of goods and money. Auctions. Generally speaking, the more buyers and sellers there are in a market, the more the situation becomes close to the perfect market scenario. An extreme opposite case is where there is only a single seller in auction. The auction rules define the social choice. The identity of the winner. Government policy. Governments routinely have to make decisions that affect a multitude of people in different ways. Should a certain bridge be built? How much pollution should we allow? How should we regulate some sector? Clearly, each citizen has a different set of preferences, but a single social choice is made by the government. As the influence of the internet grew, it became clear that many scenarios happening there can also be viewed as instances of social choice in strategic settings. The main new ingredient found in the internet is that it is owned and operated by different parties with different goals and preferences. These preferences and the behavior. They induce must then be taken into account by every particle in such an environment. The particle should thus be viewed as taking the preferences of the different participants and aggregating them into a social choice, the outcome of the run of the particle. Conceptually, one can look at two different types of motivations: those that use economics to solve. Computer science issues and those that use computer science to solve economic issues. Economics for CS. Consider your favorite algorithmic challenge in a computer network environment: routing of、uh, messages, scheduling of tasks, allocation of memory, etc. When running in an environment with multiple owners of resources or requests. This algorithm must take into account the different preferences of、uh, the different owners. The algorithm should function while、well, assuming 
strategic selfish behavior of each participant. Thus, we desire a mechanism design approach for a multitude of algorithmic challenges, leading to a field that has been termed algorithmic mechanism design. See as for economics. Consider your favorite economic interaction, some type of market, an auction, a supply chain, etc. As the internet becomes ubiquitous, this intersection interaction will often be implemented over some computerized platform. Such an implementation enables unprecedented sophistication and complexity. Handled by hyper-rationally designed software, designing these is often termed electronic market design. Thus, both algorithmic mechanism design and electronic market design can be based upon the field of mechanism design applied in a complex algorithmic settings. This chapter provides an introduction to classical mechanism design intended for computer scientists. While the presentation is not very different from the standard economic approach, it is somewhat biased toward a worst-case non-ovation point of view common in computer science. Section 9.2 starts with a general formulation of the social choice problem, points out the basic difficulties formulated by Arrow's famous impossibility results and deduces the impossibility of a general strategic treatment, i.e. of mechanism design, in the general setting. Section 9.3 then considers the important special case where money exists and describes a very general positive result, the incentive-compatible Vickery Clark Growth Mechanism. Section 9.4 puts everything in a wider formal context of implementation in dominant strategies. Section 9.5 provides several characterizations of dominant strategy mechanisms. All the sections up to this point have considered the dominant strategies, but the prevailing economic point of view is a Bayesian one that assumes a priori non-distributions over private information. Section 9.6 introduces this setting and the notion of a Bayesian Nash equilibrium that fits it. All the treatment in this chapter is in the very basic private value model, and Section 9.7 shortly points out several extensions to the model. Finally, Section 9.7 Point eight provides bibliographic notes and references.